Hello and welcome back. So, last night was star uh, challenge lock night, so tonight is stock lock. Um, so, I reached in the bucket that Apache Lock Sport sent me, and I pulled out something that I haven't picked before, which is nice. It's a uh, Yale. Um, Kite Mark Yale, which is the uh, British standard. Um, supposedly, they are made with a higher... Uh, higher tolerance to higher uh better standards um a higher standard of of uh of locks so um these are supposed to be better locks so that'd be good um this one has a key key works absolutely smoothly as it should since it is a uh um <laughs> since it is a stock lock nothing but i don't know what kind of trickery they put in these so here's the uh bidding on that key kind of crazy there um but uh, that doesn't matter because every pin needs to be picked. Um, but I will put it in the vise and see what we got here. Let's see. Uh, Yale Keyway. Should be able to use my 40,000th pry bar. I can. And um, I'm going to use my gem. Well, my homemade gem that I got from Bronx Lock Picker 60. Um, zoom in here. And get that to focus. Wow, where did my focus go today? There we go. All right. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing I normally do. I'm going to apply medium tension and start in the back. Okay. Wow. That was five, I think. Four. Okay, I can't work around the ledge here in the front. I'll have to hop up on the ledge. I okay, got a couple clicks out of two. Click out of one. Oh, it feels like two's back down. And I'm getting counter on him. Okay, I just got him set, but I'm getting counter still. Okay, I just lost my false set, so either I overset him. Something else dropped. Okay, that was three, I believe. Okay, one's back down. Okay, I got him. A little bit more on two. Counter on two. Got him set. Three is giving me counter, I believe. And it's open. All right. Wow. That was interesting. Um, let's see what's inside of it. All right. Zoom out for you guys. Get a good view of all this. And open her up and see what we got here. I'm kind of excited uh, getting a kite mark because uh, I have not had any of them. And some reason i don't know why i just never have but i haven't so <laughs> let's um that clip off the back uh, let's see if this tool will work let's turn that that way that worked awesomeness um shouldn't need to shim it because it is a stock lock i just gotta turn it the right direction um, about like that, and we'll take a follower and go on through. Pins are up. Oh, follower fits, it does. Awesomeness. Okay, right away, it looks like we have, oh, wow, okay. Um, grab a pick here real quick. Something. No, it's not. Just the reflection, I guess, but it. Looks like there's a lip there, like there's counter milling, but there is not. It's all smooth. But it does look like we have some drill protection, which is good. Um, here we go. You can see the drill protection there and there. Uh, and for those of you who do not know what that is, is, is that is if somebody decides to drill that pen stack out, those two hardened steel inserts will stop the uh, um, 
stop the drill bit. So let's dump this uh, first key pin out. It's a standard. Second key pin is a standard, 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 and standard. And again, um, it looked like there's counter milling in that, but it does not feel like there is any. Um, that is just really, really weird. I don't feel anything. I, yeah, it just looks like it. Wow, that's weird. Oh, well, I don't think my camera's picking that up, but that is just strange as heck. Oh, come on, focus. If you guys can see that, but it looks like there's counter milling in it, but it's not. It's uh, it's smooth. So anyway, I'm trying to show you something that's not there. Isn't that awesome? Uh, long day, guys. Sorry. Let's see what the magic is upstairs, because obviously we had a. Uh, Six pinner that was all standards on bottom. Uh, let's see what we have on top. On top, another standard. <laughs> Great. Um, and a steel spring. Two, we have a nice spool. And another steel spring. And three, we have a, another nice spool. Probably another steel spring we do. All right. Oops, I just pushed that a little hard, but that's all right. It worked out. We had another spool and another steel spring and five. We had another spool and a steel spring, I would imagine. Yes, we do. And in six, how much you want to bet it's a spool? <laughs> We had a spool, a spool, and uh, probably another steel spring, as a matter of fact. All right, cool. So it looked like we had um, all standards on the bottom. Both of the first pin driver and key pin are steel. The rest of them, I'm guessing, are copper. Um, and all of the uh, key pins. Let's zoom in for you guys. Nothing crazy up top. Shouldn't be. Nope. Nothing there. Um, but let's give you guys a close-up of these pins. Let me see what was inside this Yale. Um, and one, we had, like I said, we had the steel pins uh, that were for anti-drill. Steel spring. Uh, all the key pins, two through uh, six, were all uh, standards. And two through six were all um, spools. And all steel springs up top. So that was what was inside of this uh, Yale Kite Mark. Um, six pin. Thank you very much. Uh, Apache lock sport for this awesome lock. Um, I appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your time and don't break the law.